The Subliminal Eleven. It's, a, it's an Overwatch backpack under the. It's so meta. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Still recording. Should be good. Great. So meta. <laughs> cool. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the Subliminal Eleven here. And we're in front of uh, the Cherry Lane Theater with uh, uh, actress um, Lucy Pohl. Lucy Pohl. Hi, guys. How are you? And uh, going on right now is uh, her comedy show, Hi Hitler. Do you want to talk about that? Sure, yeah. It's my show. It's called Hi Hitler. It's an autobiographical solo comedy about immigration and identity. And it's a fish out of water story. Um, it's got a lot of characters in it and a lot of fun stories. So, yeah, we're on till the end of the month, July 30th um, through Sunday. And it's a really fun time. It's an hour and 10 minutes long. It's on every day at 8 p.m. On Saturday, we have two shows, one at 3 and at 8. And on Sunday, we have one at 2. So there's no excuse not to come and check it out. I saw the show myself. I just have to say uh, it's actually really hilarious. Although, um, no spoilers, so you got to see it yourself. Uh, any social media uh, you want to put out there? Be able yeah, to follow sure. My Twitter is Lucy Pohl Comedy. That's L-U-C-I-E, P-O-H-L Comedy. And my Instagram is you love Lucy. The letter U love Lucy. All right. So general questions here. Um, let's just start it off. Uh, all right. Which celebrities do you think were the most influential to you? Uh, you know, growing up as a child. Uh, Lucille Ball, Whoopi Goldberg, Steve Martin, Quentin Tarantino was very influential for me as um, a '90s growing up in the '90s. Um, Let's see, Lily Tomlin, uh, John Leguizamo, I mean, there's a long, long list, mm -hmm. but a lot of um, great performers that, you know, do live work and do film work and have kind of uh, broken ground in um, terms of uh, the kind of characters they played and writing their own material and kind of, you know, doing things that um, other actors wouldn't have done necessarily in their time. Yeah. So you grew up in the 90s. Uh, don't you think like the 90s was like the best, you know, music? Well, I don't shows? know because I don't really have a lot of reference, but I'm glad I'm not like a teenager now. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I, I feel bad for the teenagers that have to worry about how many Instagram followers they have. We, we had beepers. We just worried about how many people beeped us. Having an iPad <laughs> at 10 years old. What? Having an iPad at 10 years old. Yeah, I mean, you know, we had computers and everything, obviously, but um, yeah, it was a good time to grow up in New York. New York was, you know, not too um, dangerous at that time, but it wasn't so gentrified and so flooded with tourists. So I, I grew up in the city, so we would just run around the city. It was kind of our playground, you know, hang out on stoops all day. And, and um, so it was definitely a different time. I think it was a great time, but then again, I don't know what it was like being around in the 70s or 80s. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. What do you spend on the most? Uh, money? Yes, money. Uh, whether it's clothes uh, or... Rent. Rent? <laughs> <laughs> rent. Yeah. Wow. Final answer. Rent. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, are, you, are you a bathroom singer? A bathroom singer? Yes. Do you sing in the yeah. shower? Yeah. Yeah, I sing everywhere. I sing in the shower, in the living room. I talk to myself. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's like, uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you do when you're not working? Such as uh, hobbies or anything? Hobbies. Um, I... The thing is, when you do what like we do, writing and acting and all that, you kind of dedicate your life to it. But I like to like do really normal stuff, like watch movies, I like to go to the beach, you know. Um, I like to see other people's shows, I like to read. Uh, but yeah, hobbies, I, mm, I go to the gym, I box, I like boxing. That's a hobby. Yeah, that, that qualifies as a hobby. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I do, I have one hobby. All right. Uh, do you believe in love at first sight? Yes. For real? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, let's see. Your your favorite film. What is your favorite movie? Oh, it's hard. There's a lot. I just recently saw one. Um, 
by Vittorio De Sica, an old Italian movie called Il Boom, which has now become my favorite movie. Oh. But Pulp Fiction is one of my favorite movies, and um, Sullivan's Travels is one of my favorite movies. That's um, Preston Sturgis, way back. Uh, but yeah, I like old movies a lot. Uh, I have there's there's a lot, but those are like my main right. main main films that I love. Yeah. Uh, growing up, who was your uh, celebrity crush? David Hasselhoff. Yeah. Yeah. I should have known that. Yeah, you should have. Yeah, you should have. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite curse word? Fuck. Yeah, it's a great filler of words. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what inspired you to become uh, an actress in the first place? Mm, I grew up in a theater family, and I never had a moment where I like decided it. Just I always wanted that. It was always. There was no question for me. I never thought I could do anything else, really. I tried, like, I worked in an office for like two months. That was really bad. I really did damage to their data entry system. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so, yeah, I didn't have like this moment where I was like, that's what I need to do. It was always clear for me that that's what I, this is what I wanted to do. So it was just about finding a way to be able to do it. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, any uh, any future projects that um, you know us as fans can look forward to that you're allowed uh, to reveal? Yeah. Um, I in New York City. I'm doing this show in a bunch of places, but like in Europe and then back in Oklahoma, and then I have a few cons coming up. One in oh, Seattle right. at the end of September. One in New Hampshire in September. Um, and then there's like a couple of things that I can't talk about yet but mm -hmm. soon probably so but I'll post that on my social media mm -hmm. all right so right now uh, I went on a Facebook page mm -hmm. and um, a bunch of other places where basically asked Overwatch fans right uh, if they want to ask you any questions mm -hmm. so a lot of people think that um, you play Overwatch so this person question this person wait this question is from Margaret mm -hmm. how much often how often do you play Overwatch yeah, not that often. So you do play? I have Has my, my like, <laughs> from what I thought was, oh, you know, she does, you know, she, uh... She... I, I wouldn't say I play. I've tried it, but I don't play. Oh, I'm okay. really bad at it. Uh, next question is from Kuan. What's her favorite food? Cheesecake. Cheesecake. Mm-hmm. What if... When you do play Overwatch, Mercy. who do you mean? Oh, okay, see? <laughs> Sorry, I knew the question already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these questions of like... Of course I'm going to main Mercy. Uh, this question is from Jonathan. Does she have any tips or can give pointers for an up-and-coming voice actor? For an up-and-coming voice actor, my tips would be to just, you know, cast your net as wide as you possibly can. Try to get your foot in the door wherever you can. Try out you know, whatever is available to you, go on Craigslist and, and type in voiceover jobs, go on any anything and anywhere you can to find ways to get experience and just, you know, get experience, put yourself out there, don't give up, keep going. It takes a while, you know, mm -hmm. to get good jobs and, and kind of build um, a reputation and body of work and have a demo and all of that so you just gotta go for it enjoy it you know and not kind of compare yourself to other people just do your thing keep your head down work try to find jobs yeah uh, Mercury asks how do you feel about the fan art that people had made from the scenes of Anjali and Carolina's videos awesome I love it they're so great. People are so talented. It's really, really amazing. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, I agree. Keep them coming. Uh, Chris Foggy, are you vegan? No. <laughs> I'm not vegan. I was like, what, a, what kind of question? Uh, Richard Samuel, what is her liquor of choice? I don't guessing, drink. like your favorite drink? Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. Don't. I don't drink. No. Uh, Taylor Smith asks. Ask her, will you marry me? I'm lonely and I'm a mercy man. Yes, I will. Let's do it. Where are you? <laughs>
Uh, David asked, did she expect the game to blow up the way it did? No, I didn't know anything about the game. I didn't know. You know, no, I'm actually I curious about that myself. Like, you know, you, you see, um, you see like, you know, something to audition for, you do it, and then a, the game came out last year in May. Mm -hmm. Like I wasn't from on May. it then yet. I came out in September of last year. My voice came out in September of last year. Oh, really? Year. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. okay. So, like, so from September, right? Mm -hmm. At some point, uh, you know, when is your, like, how many, like, how long did it take? And you're like, oh, okay. Mm, I think that around, like, March of this year is when, I mean, I, I realized that people were into it, but, like, in the spring of this year is when it kind of started picking up more for me. Mm -hmm. And people, you know, fans started reaching out. Right now there's, like, uh, there's a... Over 30 million people playing this game. Right, yeah. It's crazy. I know. I wish a tenth of them would just come see the show already. Yeah. <laughs> Kin axes, what's the price? For the show? Uh, I think he's referring to... Uh, oh, like a voice line? Heroes Never Die for, for a price. price. Oh, what's the price? Well, I can't tell you that. You have to keep playing to find out. <laughs> the game will tell the you. Show. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Dan asks, as well, also this is this is a very very popular question. Mm -hmm. Is she single? Yes. No. <laughs> uh, Dob says, ask her to sing "Stay Alive" and record it. Well, I mean, I guess you know anybody can ask anything. That's yeah, true. <laughs> Anyone can ask. Um, but. Uh, but yeah, maybe we'll do that another time. Cool. Thanks for the question. Hope you like it. Taya asked, how many times does someone recognize your voice? And um, how many people bother you uh, with I Need Healing? Like in real life? Uh, Not that many people. And real life. It's happened like a few times in real life and online people write that all the time but it doesn't bother me I mean it's not something like mean you know it's nice I need healing it's like cute I think it's cute I like it I like that fans are so into the show it's into the game and the voice <laughs> my mind is in the show already yeah I'm into that I think that's great so I love the fans you guys are awesome awesome okay thank you so much for being in this interview thank you so much and thank you for coming to see the show, and thank you guys for playing the game and being so supportive. It means a lot to us, and we love you guys, so thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Awesome.